So, well, why is the food so bad? There was a 10-year exhaustive study on American diet done by hospitals, universities, and med schools. And after 10 years, they said, if you take the top 10 diseases in the country, diabetes, osteoporosis, heart disease, cancer, stroke, they said out of the top 10, six of them are caused by our food. And the reason is because the food has gone through radical changes. So what we're eating is not what our grandparents ate. So I brought real life uh, examples so you could see what they were talking about. How many here have noticed that bell peppers, cucumbers, and zucchini sometimes feel a little bit slimy at the store? Mm -hmm. I see a lot of heads nodding. But this is a 25 pound box of tomatoes from Taco Bell and it says right on it that the tomatoes are coated with food grade petrolatum. Now who knows a brand name that begins with B that we all think of like petrolatum. We all know that it begins with B. What is it? Vaseline. Vaseline. Would Vaseline make veggies feel a little bit slimy? Yeah. It says right on the box that they're coated with petrolatum. Okay. Now how many here are where you can get apples in the fresh produce section that are one year old? How many know that? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. A lot of you do. The way they do this, an apple grower told me, they dip the apples in a nasty chemical called stop scald, and then they put them in a cool room, about 33, 34 degrees. If you don't dip them in that nasty chemical first, they'll turn black during storage, so you've got to do that. Well, I found this box. It says world's finest apples on the side, and on the end of the box, it says that these apples are treated to maintain freshness. Now, freshness is something you cannot maintain. Fresh means you picked it off the tree or out of the garden, but they're acknowledging that this could be very old food, so they have to treat it with chemicals. And it says that it's treated to maintain freshness with one or more of the following. Thiophanate, methyl, diphenylalamine, thiabendazole, and coated with food grade shellac. Oh, lovely. How many think the, the apple in the garden even had that junk on it? No way, okay? So, our food has changed a lot. Now, here, are same thing with citrus. It says fresh for health, okay? But they have the same chemicals uh, treated with one or more of the following, amazolol, olfenophenol, and thiabendazole. So our food has definitely changed. I'll show you the most gross, disgusting change I've ever seen. And again, ironically, it says healthy choice. Now, the way I found out about this horrendous thing in here, I have a friend in the meat industry, and I asked Don, I thought he'd know since this is his business, I said, Don, why is there sugar in sandwich meat? Because it's not a dessert food. He said, well, because a few years ago, the nitrite, they started putting a lot more nitrite in there than they ever used to put in, and nitrite's bitter, and unless you put sugar in, people will not eat the product. Now, what the problem with the nitrite is, the company I work with, uh, the man in charge of our research is one of the most famous cancer researchers in the world. He's from Stanford, and governments from all around the world invite him to come train their scientists in their countries. He's incredible. And Dr. First told us that this nitrite is what he uses to cause cancer when they're doing research. It's not classified as mild, it's classified as highly carcinogenic. And we have an article at our office that says kids that get 12 hot dogs a month have seven times higher rates of leukemia, they think, because of the nitrites in there. So, you guys agree our food's gone through radical changes? And uh, <laughs> radical changes. This is our goal to get in the diet every day, this chain of life here. And uh, the strongest reason I ever heard why you want to get everything in here, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, carbs, lipids, and proteins, there's at least three hospitals that have done this research, maybe more, but at least three, where they can take a known cancer causer like the nitrite in that meat, they can expose it to lab animals, and if the animal had all six links, it didn't get cancer, because it could protect itself and defend its health. But they said if they took one link out, and they said it didn't matter which one, all the other five could still be there, and then they re-exposed the animal to the nitrite, it would get cancer. So how many here want all six every day? Right, that's what I decided, because we've had a lot of cancer in our family. Now, here's one of the bigger reasons why we're getting cancer. It's called food processing. And the wheat starts here with all six links. It is perfectly designed and created for our health. All six links are in the wheat. But by the time we get it, what happens is they remove the bran. That's the second one over. The shorts and middlings, the wheat germ, and the wheat germ oil. So by the time we get down here, to what they actually make the bread out of. We started here with all six links. By the time we get down here, every link in that chain has been removed, except this one and this one. So it's easy to see why we're getting higher rates of cancer, because nutrients that the body must have 
that our creator put in the food for the purpose of maintaining our health have been taken out. So the immune system goes down lower than it should. We become more vulnerable to heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, low energy levels, etc. So the main reason for companies like ours in the nutrition industry is we desperately need a way to get those links back into the diet to protect our health. Ours come from food and it just makes it simple for the person to protect their health, get the nutrients, keep their energy levels high. Now here's something that will surprise you. Um, I brought this along because this would be another change in our diet. You can see this is a loaf of, they call it black bread, rye. But if you read the ingredients, they have to list it by uh, dominant ingredient first. Now the first ingredient in this is this color. It's white flour is the first ingredient. So the natural question is if the main ingredient is white flour, why is it dark brown? Well the seventh ingredient is caramel color. It's a food dye to turn it brown to trick you to make you think it's healthy. But this is pretty much worthless for the most part because an entire chain has been removed except two links. So it no longer has the ability to maintain your health, to uh, protect you from heart disease, to keep your energy levels up, and to put for you women, especially for hormone balance, which would no normally be found in the grains. It's not in here anymore, it's been removed. Now, this came from UC Berkeley. It's talking about vitamins. It says the role these substances play in disease prevention is no longer a matter of dispute. A high intake of vitamin C and E and beta carotene seem to be protected against many kinds of cancer including oral, esophageal, and reproductive. The other thing I didn't touch on is we see the same thing happening in heart disease. That used to be men 60s, 70s, and 80s. Now uh, I talked to a woman in a breakfast group I'm in with the Springfield Chamber and she lost her son three weeks ago, 36 years old, with a heart attack. So we see this coming down into much younger ages too. So they're saying the vitamin C, E, and beta carotene protect from many types of cancer and down here they talk about how the E protects from the um, heart attacks as well. Okay, this is a really neat study, Human Data, Vitamin E, and Cancer. And uh, this one was done on a large population of women. And what they did, they, separate, they took blood samples from all these women. And the women with the least amount of vitamin E in their blood, they put in this group over here. The women that had the most vitamin E in their blood, they put over here and they divided it into five different groups. Well, the women with the least amount of vitamin E had five-fold increase in breast cancer cases among women having the lowest 20% of serum to crop roll. So the women with the least amount of vitamin E, five times more cases of breast cancer. And how many here have heard of fibrocystic breast disease? Lumps. Okay, the E is very important for that as well. For menstrual cycle, um, hot flashes, the E can take care of all kinds. Any kind of menstrual irregularity can pre pretty much be helped by this. This is a terrible, terrible, terrible disease. Has anyone here known anyone with Alzheimer's? It's pretty nasty stuff. Well, here's a real exciting thing. This is from the Archives of Neurology, which is a very prestigious medical journal that neurologists read. But they say that the two vitamins taken together in daily doses, at least 400 units of E, more than 500 milligrams of C, could reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. A remarkable 78%. Isn't that incredible? How many want to be all there when you get there? Okay. How many here use vitamins on a regular basis? It looks like well over half. When you're supplementing your diet, you just want to be really careful of what you're using. And this will show you why. Natural source vitamin E is from vegetable oils, from soy and wheat. Synthetic source vitamin E is from petroleum or turpentine, and that's where they make it in the gasoline refinery. Now, I'm going to show you why this is so important, what you're using. How many would prefer natural E to turpentine and petroleum? <laughs> okay. Now, everyone in the front row, I'm not going to say the brand here, but everyone in the front row will recognize that brand. Do you recognize that brand? Yeah. Okay, very famous brand. These guys probably sell more E than anyone in the country, I guess. But this is from petroleum and turpentine. And the way you can tell, it's very simple. Right on the label, it says DL Alpha. If you say DL Alpha, that means it is synthetic from turpentine or petroleum. So we're going to show you a quick little test here, and then we'll be done. And you'd be surprised what some companies use. Everyone here has heard of beta carotene, right? Very protective with cancer. 
Well, uh, the companies that don't care about your health, what they use for beta carotene is acetylene. Anybody heard of acetylene, like cutting torches? <laughs> That's what they make it out of. If you have a good company, they'll make it from carrots. That's what we use. So we're going to squirt this in here. And uh, I'll get Bonnie. Bonnie, can you see that floating on top there? Yes, I can, Bob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are good. Yeah. Can you uh, Eat lots of go ahead and uh, stir that in real vigorous for us? Okay, very good. That's enough. Now, what we'll do, can you see it's all floating on the top, none mixed? Yes. Yes, Bob. Yes, I can, Bob. <laughs> what I want you to do is rub that between your fingers and tell us if it feels like Vaseline or motor oil. Yes. It does. Um. Feels just like Vaseline or motor oil. There's a reason for that. It's because it's made in a gasoline refinery. So that's why it feels like Vaseline or motor oil. Now I'll show you a natural E, which is much, much more protective. <laughs> and I'll show you one other little thing here to show you how tricky this can be. You see this brand here says Nature's Blend. What they're trying to make you think is it's natural, but you look on the label, it says DL, which means they're selling turpentine or, or petroleum. So you got to be a little bit savvy on this because they'll trick you. Now this is a good quality one made from food. Could you stir this one in for us, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, if you guys look real closely, you're the scientific-minded ones of you, can you tell any difference between these? <laughs> this is a term called bioavailability, which means just what it sounds like, how available is it to your body. Because when you're taking the E, you want it to get in your bloodstream to protect breast tissue from breast cancer, from fibrocystic breast disease, for helping the menstrual cycle to prevent heart attack, stroke. Um, Alzheimer's to protect your brain and you want you don't want it going through you you want it getting in you so some brands are more bioavailable than others some are from foods some are not